Hello everyone, you're welcome back to another sewing tutorial. My name is Shruby and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to pad a blouse. If this is the first time of checking out this channel, you are welcome. And if you've not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Without further ado, let's go straight to the curtain table. So guys, I already cut out a uh, pattern. I have a detailed video on how to cut a bustier blouse. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below or you can click on the card up here and watch that video. Alright, so I use that pattern to cut out my fabric. To pad this blouse, I'll be using a warden. There are different things you can use to pad your blouses, but I prefer to use the light warden to pad my blouse because it gives the bust area this nice look and nice finishing. I don't like to use a thick warden, so I prefer to use a light warden to pad my blouses, especially if I'm padding a traditional blouse, but if I'm making an English where I don't use warden at all. I prefer to use a fusible interfacing. We call it um, cloth gum here. So I'm quickly trying to remove the pins that I use to hold this in place. So I have like two pieces of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and also give this one a notch. Why I do that is so that I will know exactly where the lines is supposed to be so that it will rhyme at the end of the day. I'm also going to give the main blouse um, slight cords to know where I have my lines marked. So I'm going to look for the right side of this warden, like the area where the warden has a gum that will stick to the fabric. So I'm going to use a very hot iron to stick this to the dress. So guys, this has been glued to the fabric. You don't need an extra glue. The warden has a gum on it already, so that's what you're going to use. So I'm going to join this on the machine. I'm going to start stitching from the down part up. I'm going to stitch on a half inch mark. So guys, at the end of the day, this is what you should have. I'm going to fix the other side just the way I fixed this side. 
if you've not watched the video on how to draft this bustier blouse i'm going to leave the link in the video description i can click on this card up here to watch that video it's going to give you a better insight on how to cut a bustier blouse so guys this is our breast part this is what it looks like i'm going to go ahead and give this a nice price so that you guys will see what it's going to look like for the lining, I don't need to use a warden. I used a feasible interfacing, a cloth gum to line the entire body of the lining because I wanted to have some weight. I'm also going to take this to the machine and stitch this just the way I stitched the main fabric. So we have our front ready as in the front of the main fabric ready and then we have our lining ready i have different ways of finishing a blouse but i'm going to be using one in this video so i'm going to place the right side of the main fabric against the right side of the lining so i'm going to take this to the machine and i'll stitch all around i'll stitch the neck the side, the down part, and also the other side. I'm not going to touch the armhole. At this point, you can take this to your overlocker and overlock the entire dress to avoid frills. I'm going to turn this inside out. So guys, I'll take this to my ironing board and give this a nice price. Once I press it, all the sides is going to pop out. Alright guys, this is how to part a dress. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to leave a like. And also subscribe to this channel. If you've not subscribed to this channel, turn on the notification so you get notified once we upload a new video. If you have any question or if you have any request, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And I'm going to get to it. But for the meantime, have a good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Bye.